What's going on guys? This is going to be another Legion guide video. Um, going to be Atlantean, I believe, is the next one up. Atlantean's a pretty fun overall Legion because it uh, it really shines with Welcome Egg. To right? Nova. Egg is an extremely strong combo. Early game, mid game, everywhere in between. Egg is awesome. So what you do, realistically, there is other options to start here. Um, Poda is also really good. Um, Grarl into something else, like a tier 3, is really nice. A tier, two, tier 3 or tier 6 or anywhere in between is nice. Um, Serpent is really great DPS because it snipes the back line, as well as does some of the best DPS per gold in the game. Um, anglers are, at the end of the day, one can be either a really strong fortified tank, um, they have the same, basically the same health and uh, and stats as a golem, except the fact that they can do more damage. Um, and then there's also polywogs. Polywogs really aren't an opening, but in most situations, if you have the opportunity to go egg, right, you just want to go egg, right? And that's just kind of the idea. Um, egg is super strong gives you a lot of opportunities to do a large multitude of things in the mid game push really hard go for weird shifts try to try like, there's just a lot of opportunity um, there and with the Atlantean role um, it, it's pretty dang solid for it King Claw and Ocean Templar are also really solid options for Grarl in the mid game um, let's see here Dude sending into me is three worker at most here, so this is pretty solid. This is pretty solid. Um, I have done a couple Atlantean videos for the campaign guys. I haven't even um, sent them out yet, but um, yeah, that's the only time I've ever done Atlantean, really. Lose position. The guy sending into me, I don't think we'll have many workers. Um, and my bot is Royal Guard. Hmm. I, th I think I'll, I'll... He won't leak here. He won't leak here. He got a 20 last. Um, I will full build on 3. But we'll kind of see where that leads us. Uh, the egg is placed really far back because you want to inevitably have your Sea Serpent up top. Inevitably want your Sea Serpent up top. And Serpent, if you want the Serpent to snipe backline, which you do, you do want Serpent to snipe backline, you need to have, um, let's see, you know, how many, however many tiles this is. So it's three, six, eight and a half. You know, it's a roughly decent way to do it. Um, go back as many tiles as you possibly can. The only downside to Egg in general is, um, realistically, uh, lack of, uh, Lack of worker push in the beginning, right? Like, you, you're just going to be down on workers, which is fine. It's not the end of the world, but it's definitely going to be more of a pain in the tuchus than, uh, than otherwise. Um, we'll place this here as well. I'll send the snail. Normally speaking, I would go a polywog upgraded to a seraphin. But in this situation where I've got... Um, a 20 on 1, and I know for a fact the enemy is not going to be able to 60 me because they were low worker start. I can just go for the um, the Serpent, etc. And, and just play it smart and safe with a, with a later game focus, right? Because uh, the, the Serpent is going to be what I'm going to need for 7 and 8, um, as well as 10, realistically, right? So... The serpent gives me some good, um, some good overall value. Now, what I might do here, and this is a little bit dumb to think about, but I might sell this, sell these, and start buffing up an angler. Just send it. They don't really help me anyway, so it's like I don't necessarily mind killing off the polys. Um, not necessarily the cleanest play I've ever made, but at the end of the day, like, 
It's not terrible. Nope, so this is on the half level already. So this is on the right level. You can see this is on the half square. This is right, the square. Hydras being large make it hard to tell. Especially even looking in here, because I have the um, AI scaling. Or the UI scaling, excuse me. UI scaling, so it looks funny all the time. But you can tell that's enough of space. Um, I'm looking at this, right? And I realistically want to send uh, the Cyan bot on 7 and, and 9 right now. The AI is income sending in me. That's lovely. We'd love to see that. We're going to go at least another two workers. And then what I'm going to look at is going for a Serpent upgraded for 7. And then that Serpent upgraded 7 can help me clear 8 as well. Um, and that should be basically all I need to, to clear. Not holistically all I need, but um, it'll be, you know, realistically the, the point of, of holding, I think. Um, you can just see here, like, even with me getting all these pushes, right, I'm at 8 workers, I'm still 100 over, and I'm still way ahead. Um, one thing you got to keep in mind, though, with egg, uh, especially if, if it's not a full hatched egg, egg is extremely weak on 7 and 8, right? Um... Magic damage does plus 25 to natural defense, right? So you really got to be careful. Really got to be careful to not over push and overdo it when you see when you have eggs on the board. Um, it just you have to play smart. Um, but even broken eggs are still good value. It's just you still have to again play smart, play play to your strengths. Egg is a great tank in terms of its delay value. It pops into three units. Those three units take a while to, to get killed. Um, it has uh, basically double its health. So it's 20, uh, 27, 10 plus another, what is it? And it's pretty similar to it. Tw uh, 27, 30, I think, with all the popped ones. We can actually check. Hydralings are 9, 10 apiece. So yeah, 27, 30. So you basically double the health with the Hydralings, which is Let's phenomenal, go. right? I'm going to send just the Cannoneer here. It's not my, f I think my favorite send to send here, but I think the Cannoneer is probably a good option. We're going to do an even split again because the uh, Hydra is on the second ring. This would be the correct splitting if I were to do um, a unit up on the left as well, the left wall. So, I think this would work fine. We're also going to send a snail just to distract um, the disciple if it gets the opportunity to take a shot before um, the the snail dies. That uh, should should take a shot then potentially. Nope, it did not take a shot. That's fine though. It just does a little bit of delay. I think the Pegasus is going to be too much for us to get through, which is fine. Pegasus is going to be fine. Again, our, our goal is 9, not necessarily 8, or 7 or 8. Um, with no send into me here, I am semi-worried about next. Not totally, like, nervous, but there's a little bit of an inclination that I might leak next to me. Them both leaking, though, does help our cause quite a bit. This actually was pretty nice. I don't think I'll be able to leak yellow next wave. Um, and I don't think I need the income necessarily. So we're going to play it a little bit close to the chest here and see how it goes. What I am going to do though is I'm probably going to drop a... Um, Yes. <laughs> a poda here. Hmm. Is that a good idea? Depends on heavily what the bot sends us, right? We're going to play around with the idea that they're going to send us 
something that's going to delay our uh, deep coiler from being able to get two shot kills, which is why we place the serpent, and then also just another frontline unit. Ooh, that's actually going to be kind of rough. Pack leader is a really good send into us because I don't have any type of DPS in the front. Um, Poda would have potentially been a good option here for us. Though we're going to get most of the kills, so I'm okay with this. Small leak is fine here. 50%. With flower, that's not that bad. Could be much worse. Not with flower. Uh, with egg, it could be much worse there. Um, egg is, a, again, a unit that's very, very susceptible to leaking on 7 and 8. Um, and even this, like, when, when you're playing Atlantean, anglers are kind of dead value. Um, I say that a lot on stream. Like, they're not terrible in terms of just their, like, value in terms of tanking, etc. But their damage just is really, really subpar. And so they don't do a whole lot for you. Um, and then at that point, it's just like, well, then you're kind of sitting undervalued with worse units. Um, with a, you know, a bad unit on that wave. And then, uh, units that really don't have any tank value, necessarily. So, you sit kind of upside down. We're going to push one here. Uh, let's push two. Let's push two. We do get another brute here. Uh, I'm looking at probably going either another serpent upgrade or probably the kingpin. Um, it will only be like an 80 stack kingpin, but that's not bad. 80 stack is actually pretty good considering the fact that we put it on wave four, right? Um, and so we missed out on all those early 75 stacks. And then, uh, you know, we kind of had to play around that. Uh, losing it on the early stacks can be pretty detrimental for a kingpin um, to be anywhere good. So to be at 80 stacks, especially after leaking 8, I'll take it. Uh, interesting. The yellow si uh, the yellow bot ended up going boar, which was actually quitty, pretty effective of delaying for, for a while there. Um, the, the downside was I think the Pegasus died pretty quickly, which uh, means we could just send and push through it. Um, one of the brutes dying is little feels bad man, but not the end of the world. Uh, right now, I'm looking at probably just resending. There's not a whole lot of reason I don't resend. I think the the bot has the option for sorcerer, cannon, starcaller, and uh, that's going to be a pain in the tuchus. So. We're just going to income send here. We're going to take our 90, st 90 stack. That's not bad at all, actually. I'll, I'll take that all day. 90 stack is not bad at all. Um, I'll take my 90 stack and we'll run with it. I'm going to go with a Devilfish here. Just for another tank on the wave. I'll probably go Pawn Shop. And if I go Pawn Shop, at that point I'll just probably get rid of the Devilfish next wave. Um, it's just something here. We'll see, though. I'm not sure exactly what I'll do. Depends on if they send or not. If they send here, then I'll probably go pawn shop and go an egg. 20. Man, that's bait. I really want to send off that... Uh, uh, do an egg off that 20, but I don't know if I can. I think it's going to be too weak. Well, my bot is getting, uh, getting his guy with the send. Um, at the end of the day, like, all of those bounty hunters, as we just talked about, are, are just pretty bad value in general. Um, I'm getting my bot as well. Uh, looks like it pl placed two more pack rats, which are decent tanks, I guess, because they're swift, but they're more of a kind of a waste in general on wave 10 if you don't have something else tanking for them initially. They're more of a DPS unit than they are anything. Um, we're going to get some good king damage off this. we got two brutes so I can swing it at the king, so that's always nice. Um, I'm going to resend here. Not what I wanted. I would have wanted a dino there more. But that's fine. We'll go pawn shop. And what are we sitting at now? 288. 24. Gives me enough to go with a uh, Poda upgrade. We're going to just place it here. I don't mind it being in the back, not not split tanking. It's whatever. Yes. We can place it a little farther forward, I guess. Again, I don't want to cause the the deep coilers any problems because I want them to still so kind of go. Um, 
still kind of go and kill the back line. So, like, I think I'll just place the Pota here. That gives me ample t travel time. Like, it should still be about the same as it was previously. Two forties in here. The question is, do I want to try to egg? I can egg in the split in this situation and actually go for some dying eggs. I think that wouldn't be a bad choice. Um, go for a couple dying eggs in the split. Give me a little bit of wiggle room, right? Give me a little bit of wiggle room. I'm going to send a cannoneer here. I don't know if I'm necessarily going to get through my guy, but um, I think it's worth trying. I'm going to push another worker, though, because um, I'm pretty strong next. Realistically, even with a dying egg, I'm pretty strong. The dying egg is actually probably going to make me a lot stronger than I, I think. My bot is leaking. That's going to give him some shutdown gold. Shutdown. 25 gold, not a big deal. Not a big deal. Okay, so we're going to go cannoneer and then just a dino. Go for the egg, uh, the egg in the split, have the egg die, push another worker because I'm actually pretty solid here. Um, inevitably, this angler is going to have to get upgraded and done something done with it, but uh, probably not right now. My bot's actually crazy undervalue, and uh, these elite archer placements just make me sad. Do we get enough to to brute? Do we want to? Sure. Why not brute? Why not brute in this situation? Get some king ups and some snails sent to us. So I'll probably drop another egg next. Um, whether it be dying or not is going to be kind of a question of how the wave goes more than anything. I'll place it on the right hand side in the split. So if it dies, it great. If not, not a whole lot I can do then. So there is the star caller uh, cannon, but it seems like. Um, they both went giant snail onto us, which is perfect. My botch leaking again, but both of them are... Uh, both of them are leaking small, or my guy might hold. Cannoneer does a lot of damage, but it kind of depends on... Nope, not enough to kill it. It's okay, they, they hold. Small, but they hold, I guess, nonetheless. Hold is a hold, no matter how small. I think I just income send again. Especially if I'm going to drop another egg, right? We're going to upgrade this guy. Not that I necessarily think we need um, to upgrade him here for this wave, because obviously this wave is, is bad um, in terms of like trying to get stacks. Only six golems on the wave, right? Um, the, the thing is, I'm just trying to, like, utilize my gold on this wave, even just for tank value because of the Azeria, as well as I'm trying to prep a little bit for next. If this egg does not die, I will definitely need to get that bounty hunter upgraded. Um, I would have enough gold realistically, but I just want to make sure. Their income sending me again? Okay. Um, the egg looks like it should pop at the current rate of, of the kill. Yep, okay, cool. That was what we hoped for, realistically. Um, the positive is they're sending snails often, so like my kingpin's getting a little quicker stacks than I would have normally. Um, yeah, that's kind of a positive for us, I think. Uh, my bot leaking again is kind of sad, but looks like both of them are holding. Um, I'd realistically want to go 15 or 16 at this point. Um, I'm actually leaning more towards 16 than I am 15, but that's you know, kind of up to when the bot really wants to go. At a certain point, they just send whenever they want. Um, he does get his guy, which is good. I'm actually really surprised that the um, the Cyan bot did not hold here with an entire Arc Tear and an Orchid. But uh, you can't really be surprised sometimes either. I am full holding for my teammate, which is good. We're going to drop an egg in the split again. 
Um, we're going to go for another egg here. Um, at a certain point, the egg spam is just kind of a positive in terms of our ability to, to tank for a while. Um, and I think on wave 14 here, we're up enough. We're up enough that I think we should be able to kill the egg. But still hold. If I would have gotten this kingpin, we might not have made it. But I think we'll be okay. Beautiful income sending to me again. It seems like the AI just... Like, if they get giant snail, they have to send the giant snail every single wave. They have to. It's like part of their contract or something. You know, like... They can't skip giant snail. It's just too good a value, I guess, or something. This is actually about best case scenario where the Azeria is tanking a little bit, but not all. Yes. Trying to get it to send the shaman. There we go. So we'll go with the double coiler here, I think. I think that's probably our best bet. Gives us a good DPS source uh, for this wave and others as well, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, our Azeria is protected because the Hydra is half a square up on the right, so Azeria won't die, or shouldn't. Shouldn't is the, is the key phrase, right? Um, That's kind of just an important thing. We're just going to get income sent again by our bot. So we'll take it. Um, at this point, man, I'll, I'll take it. You can see we still have a Hydra on the right here. That's uh, just cracked. Um, so we did get quite a bit of tank value out of those guys. Um, which was kind of the whole hope and point of them, right? We wanted to be able to tank for a while. Both of the bots are leaking. Um, my bot almost holds. I mean, it, it realistically, the bot should have held here. This is such good value on this wave. But um, just not enough tank combining with it. Um, do I hold here? We got a good spell at the right time. I think that's a pretty easy clear. We are not getting much more health, though. Help there. We do win, though. I think Atlantean is a, uh, a pretty solid option if you want to learn some more of the the unique placements and combos egg is super strong egg is super strong um and i think it's a it's a well well worth the attempt especially if you're looking at playing classic or against bots to just mess around with it um these are all solid units even if you re-roll and get something else you want to try with Graral. um Graral's phenomenal fantastic um but yeah I uh, hope you find that entertaining and educational. Um, if so, please like and subscribe and catch you guys next time.